Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, this is Jersey, and today we are back in the coastal town, we are gonna be working finally in the last little corner in this section of the island. And this section is the one that's behind the community pool and right next to the, the market area that we built in the last couple of videos. So guys, so excited because we are gonna be able to design a new building. So originally one of my plans was to bring uh, the talker box, right? The new restaurant building right in this corner. But the one thing that you're gonna notice, I only have so much piece of land, right? This is the this is the area. I, I don't wanna expand and because I like everything else around it. I like the parking lot. I like the market area. I like the little deck area that I have on this side. So what better way to keep pushing the limits, to keep pushing the game, than to create another building and another design. So that's the goal. The goal of today's video is to create a little restaurant building, a little fast food building, uh, uh, depending how you wanna call it, but that feels that coastal vibe, that it feels like it belongs in, in this area, and that it makes sense, you know? It makes sense with the combination with the community pool and the market. So I, I want everything to fit together, they have that aesthetic, and, and that's the goal, right? So what better way? than to keep pushing and to use this little land that we have to come up with a great building. So that's that's what we're doing. So one of my new ideas that I wanted to try is, you know, uh, I wanna use the, the stalls the way we were using in the market, but this time, and I, and I was trying to find a table, but all the tables are too, too big, right? And then some of the other tables are a little too low because they're more like coffee style table. So I could not do the visual that I wanted. I, I wanted to create like this countertop that it reaches right in right to the same height of the stalls, right? And but we, we didn't we didn't have an item that can just do that. So what we're gonna do is create our own stall. I seen this in, in many many islands. Uh, I seen this in Soho, I see him in Rips, I seen this in Spec. So this is a inspiration from a combination from many other creators that have done this. But I'm gonna bring that and incorporate that into this building. So we have kind of like a countertop. And part of the idea of this design is to use the new uh, cloth uh, tile path that we have in the game because I've not been able to use it just yet in my own personal island. So we're gonna use that and that is also gonna be used part of the roof. So as you can see, we're building the building, right? And now we're doing a whole different shape because I want this one to look a little more more like a restaurant, right? Um, something that you see in a fast food design or or when you go to the coastal areas and you go to those kiosks and, they, uh, and they're selling food and all that as you're walking the boardwalk or stuff like that. that that's what I want. I want a kind of like a different texture, different design, uh, different kind of rooftop. And we, we're gonna make kind of like a freezer area in the back at, at, at the same time. So that's gonna use a whole different tile. And it's just a combination and then see how far we can make this look. So there, there's gonna be a couple compromises on this build especially on the tile because the way I wanted the roof to look because I wanted to match a lot of it of the stall because I'm, I'm going for a specific look right and I want that look to com to complement this whole area this whole corner but as we continue the build and as we continue to work this area you're gonna notice that that anything is possible when it comes to building buildings now and depending on the space and depending on the area then you can go big you can go small you can go tall and it's just it, it was great to actually work on this in this particularly piece of land because I had to keep adjusting. I had to keep tweaking the build to make it work. So as you can see, um, first I'm, I'm trying to get the, the initial shape. So I'm not putting right away any tiles, anything down. I'm just working with dirt. I'm trying to get the shape. So it's a lot easier to move things. I don't have to keep picking things up uh, every time I wanna change something. I just gonna work it with dirt and see the shape. And once I get the shape, and once the shape is done, then I can start bringing in the different type of tiles that I wanted to do. But here we are. So this design is gonna change a couple times depending on the scenario that I need. Uh, in some points, I really like some of this design. Like this one right here, the one that you're looking at, looks really nice and I like this. But it didn't fit the vision that I wanted, but that's already one building. That's one design that we can already use for something else. 
is the same thing as we're gonna progress. You're gonna see how I keep tweaking the building. We're gonna uh, expand it a little wider. We're gonna go a little bit deeper. We're gonna go because uh, and sometimes it didn't look uh, center. It didn't look just right. And I had to tweak it, you know, because it just didn't fit uh, the, the vision in, in many ways. But okay, so now I'm, I'm extending a little bit more. Uh, I'm going around. So this, that that I'm working on right there, that is gonna be the countertop and that gets changed a couple times. We extend it to the front, then we push it back, then we push it back to the front because I'm trying to find that that level, that, that level of area, that level of design, uh, that, that it just, for me, that it has to make me happy. Like I'm, I'm pleased the way everything is looking. So one thing that I noticed already is one side is already I need more space. So we are gonna end up taking out part of the parking lot and we're gonna see that in just a moment. So on this one, if you remember on the last market build video, we talk about the, the chimney. On the chimney on, over there, I already was in the highest point in Dinkum, so I could not actually make it myself. So what we had to do is use kind of the, the, the old furnace, right? To make that vision, that, that reality happen. So now, since I'm a little lower, I can make the chimney and I'm and that's the highest point now again in Dinka. So I could not make it the chimney any higher, but this is an inspiration from AJ once again to be able to put the the, the campfire in top of the chimney. And if you combine it with the with the brick, it looks really good. Like the whole it, it blends very well, especially when you're not looking for it, like you just walking and seeing it, and it looks like it's working like like somebody is actually burning things inside the building like they're doing something I, I was trying it with the the black cobblestone because I had that idea too I saw it in, in Reap's uh, place and it looks really good but I didn't like myself I didn't like the way then the campfire look with the with the black so it's that's just more preference if you if you like the black chimney and you like the campfire and it looks good for you then go ahead and use it because then it, it, it works out but for my taste, it just it, it wasn't clicking. It wasn't working the way that I wanted. So, so I went ahead and, and used the brick. And then the brick matches the aesthetic that I'm going for, and at least in this part of the coastal town. So to me, that was important too, because I want this to feel like it's part of the market area right, right over there. So, okay, so, so I needed more space, right? So the first thing I knew, okay, well, I need to move the building, shift the whole building, the whole build, one to the left. So that's what are we doing right here? It's just moving everything that I just built one to the left, and then it's, I'm still gonna need more time. I, I mean, more space in this in the in the right side. So we are gonna take down one one whole square for this whole parking lot. We're gonna take that off, so that way I can have some breathing room, so people then can truly walk at least in one tile in one space around the building. And like I said. I think, I think that's one of the most important things about being able to create your own buildings, right? Sometimes we only have limited space, limited amount of um, area that we can work, that we can design, you know? And sometimes we would like to bring like my original plan. I kind of wanted to bring the talker box back over here. I think it would look great, but it's wide. And I would have to like, rearrange or either push the building very far, far back, more far back than I really wanted to or I would have to kind of take things down on the side and I readjust a lot more. And I really like what I had, I truly did. It, it wasn't a scenario that I'm like, oh, if I take this down, if I put this here and then I re redo all this on the side, it's gonna look even better. Because sometimes that happens and you guys seen the videos, you guys that know that if we need to take something down, we'll take it down. If we need to readjust, we're gonna readjust. But we can make buildings now, right? We can make our own designs. We can we can keep pushing the game. We can keep coming up with ideas and designs and scenarios and using different tools to create new new buildings, new area, new spaces that we don't have to just depend on the actual houses or NPC buildings to keep adding to our island, to keep adding more story, more texture, more more things to see, you know, more scenarios. And that's one of the benefits of having been able to create now more buildings. And then as the game continues to evolve, you know, I'm hoping that we can get more square pieces, just like the ramps pieces. Imagine if we can get rectangles, we can get squares, we can get circles, 
and then when you place them they, they do the same thing the ramp does they take the color or the the tile that's of whatever is underneath and duplicate that and then we're going to be able even to build more we're going to be able to keep evolving our builds so so yeah so that's that's the great thing right now about Dinkum and the level where we at and where the, our designing skills are taking this game is we're, we're taking it to the next level right so okay so here is the cloth right I wanted to use the cloth and I had this idea to kind of match it to the roof right to kind of go with a red and white look I just wanted to be red and white all all over this kind of building the only downside is when you do the the cloth it doesn't paint the whole building on the on the sides right it stays dirt because it's, it's meant to be more like a picnic blanket it's not meant to be used the way that I'm trying to use it right here so so that's challenge number one so either I have to sus the, suspend my belief that I'm seeing dirt and make and trying to use my my mind like this is more maybe like a brown building and and you guys know me I'm all, always going more the realistic route and it makes it a, a little hard so I'm right here I'm trying to do trying to see if I can hide more of the dirt so I was like, well, but what if I do a double stall? But I wasn't liking it. It wasn't feeling right. It just made the building look too bulky, too much. So I was like, okay, so what about if I extend the roof? And then I can kind of hide the, to make a, to make it like a brown wall that matches also the stalls. And that was my initial first run at this. And it was looking good. I was kind of happy. Then I brought the sign, so kind of we can make a sign like uh, like when you when you look at building, fast food places, restaurant. You got your sign. Then we're gonna write the name of the place. And I was kind of liking. So I got to this point. I was like, okay, I'm kind of happy with this. This is looking pretty good. Let me leave it there, and let me keep just looking at it and visually taking it in as I continue to work, right? Because it's it's, it's one of those things that. In one, in one way, it was bothering me that I got so much pace, right? But at the same time, as a perspective view, it was looking good. But when I go around, then I just didn't like it as much. It felt like it was too long, right? Especially having the brown. So it, I had to really be sure that this is, this is something that I really wanted to keep. This is something that I really wanted to do. So, so now the, the next thing is I'm, I, I decided to keep working on the side. So I'm going to work on the side. Let, let's continue to expand the building let's see how much more space do i need let's, let's see what we can do so the next thing is to i kind of kind of work on the entrance right we got to put this entrance back in center back in the center so it just feels right it feels good you know as you're walking in because when you go down the stairs or if you're coming from the community pool you want it to be able to walk in and bam here's the building here's the the kind of the the coastal restaurant area of this area here's where we're gonna get food here's where we're gonna get sit we're gonna have a nice little uh, deck and patio area as well uh, technically we got two so it's gonna look really good I, like the end result I was very happy with the end result and the good thing is it was a good challenge uh, a challenge that that really kept made me think even more outside the box not just to do it too simple but just to keep pushing and to keep finding ways to create new buildings new ways to utilizing the tools so we can make something spectacular right uh, and just something even more motivating in the game so okay so the next thing is i was like you know what i've been liking my parking lots with the team fence so and since i got a restaurant you know i was like you know what let's change this let's go ahead and, and make some team fence let's go ahead and add it now that I'm kind of reworking the parking lot and I feel like this made it feel even better. I feel like from down there I can look up to the parking lot and you can kind of see through it and all those visual details to me they help me that uh, it just keep evolving it, it keeps evolving the build it keeps evolving the town and it feel a little more realistic right and and that's that's always my goal right is to make things feel a little more realistic everything is has a flow everything is working together to get to this point so okay so we are continue to to work on the roof and now on the side I can't do the same amount of spacing on the side because and then I really gonna have to either cut down the parking lot that I can't do anymore I got it to the bare minimum uh, on the parking lot right now I usually like them a little wider so can I can have a little more space but since it's just for technically motorbikes so it's working very well so the roof on the sides they're not gonna be as wide as in the front right as long and I think that was one of the first mistakes it's just when I kept evolving the building and I kept working on the building 
the front always look too much it was too much because the sides were smaller it wasn't looking design wise it wasn't bad and maybe maybe i could have put up with it maybe i would have just enjoyed it but there was something always off and i could not just enjoy the build so at some point we're gonna see that i'm gonna rework the whole front because i want everything in all especially the, the three sides the one in the front and two sides the back will be different the back we're gonna do something else different but the front and the sides the front being that long and the sides being a little shorter it just it wasn't working for me uh and when i'm watching the replay it actually looks good it looks okay depend because every building is different right if, if we look at fast food restaurants and we look at designs and we look at buildings not all three sides are equal you know sometimes one side is longer it's extended depending because maybe they got a, a room there or something like that just but in this build in this particular scenario i just could not make it work for my taste for just the way that i wanted things to look so and we're gonna end up reworking the front but it's gonna look very similar it's gonna look very similar to what you're seeing now it's just a little more tight a little more uh together and i and i think it does end up making the bill the way that i want the bill to feel and to be like and the and the size that it needs to be i do believe like every building has its perfect size it has the perfect uh size for the area for the the quality the the visual uh and depending on, on what you're building right so uh to me, everything has to feel like it matches the area. I want things to be kind of proportional to the characters in the game. I think that's important to me. I kind of got to try to visualize like if they actually were walking in here, how much space they have. I want the building also to kind of be similar in size and feel to the actual NPC buildings. Um, but making big building at the same time, depending on what it is, you know, like we've seen uh, Rips Gaming making a beautiful mansion then it makes sense, right? Because it's a mansion. So it's just depending on what you're building, but I do believe every building, every build for every area will have a perfect size, you know, that will complement the area, that will be the perfect build and size for that specific area, that you have the space that you need in front, that you have the space on the back, that the characters feel comfortable to walk around it. And at the same time, at the end that's also taste because that's my style that's the way i think that's the way that i, I kind of visualize the the way a building should be but that's because that's the way i think you know and i know you have your own preference you will have your own way to approach when you're banking buildings and how you want your buildings to look and what kind of texture you want to use on them and what you want to decorate around them a lot of people may want to put a lot of flower beds around the buildings you know and that's and that's completely great and that's the great thing about designing that's always going to be the great thing about building and just motivating each other and just getting inspiration from the community from all of you because it's just going to feel great you know and i'm going to be seeing amazing things that you guys are building that i want to apply on my islands and i can't wait to keep seeing all of you guys building decorating because you know i've been seeing amazing things lately i've been seeing how you guys are just going really all in into the game and just making beautiful things in your own islands okay so now it, it comes to the point that i wanted to hide a little bit of this those little dirt corners so um i did put pictures because i want to make sure that i'm making sense you know so i, I look at restaurants in, in coastal towns in the beach areas and I, I see again that they use a lot of palm trees so it's perfect because i'm in the coastal town that's the vibe that i want to and a lot of them are truly very close to the buildings you know and i think that's great because i was like okay they're very close to the building it's something that people do in real life so i i kind of like that idea a lot so i'm gonna plant in all four corners in this building we're gonna plant um the coconut palm tree the one that curves and then around this bill then we're gonna use the other palm tree because that that's been the aesthetic right in like I, I mentioned in previous videos, the coastal town, I wanted to feel very different. I wanted to feel very different compared with the other town that I have in this island. So I, I, that's why I'm going all in with the coconuts. That's why I'm going all in with the tropical grass because I really truly want when people come here, when, when people are seeing these islands in video, that it feels totally different. Everything is a little brighter. Everything is a little just greener and the palm trees, 
and the two type of palm trees and the green vegetation, it just really makes the area feel totally different compared with the other town. Okay, so the next thing that I wanted to do is like, okay, so I, I have, I, I wanna create this decking area that's gonna match the same level as the restaurant. So it's coming on the side. And then we also got the one that goes down that you see that was already created. That's a nice seating area. We're gonna put more couches. We're gonna, we're gonna fix some of the lighting and that area is gonna be nice. So it's more like, like a little more hangout. And then the, and this side is where people kind of eat. So that's the feel, that's the idea. So the next thing that I wanted to use that finally I'm gonna be able to start using it is the rope fence. I, it's an item that I, so grateful that James added to the game. It's something that I really wanted to start using in the coastal town. I think it just gives that vibe, especially that I'm looking for for this area, for the coastal town. I know there's other areas that I wanna test this rope uh, in my coastal town to give it something else that different, but this worked out great, especially for the restaurant because I feel like we're close to the beach. Well, we're actually on the beach, right? There's the ocean right there. And I, I want, I, I wanted to have that vibe and that feel, you know, and I think the rope fence brings that. Also, it brings another type of texture with the colors, with the rope, and it's just, again, beautiful, looks really great, works well, and, and it just gives that extra more to the build. So, okay, so now I got, I'm thinking on the back. I'm thinking, okay, I, I want to close this out, but I don't want to overdo it. So I wanted to have palm trees that will grow that will also give more texture behind the building. So when we're looking for the front, you have a little bit more to see behind the building, but a little more separated. So I figured I put a palm tree, two squares, palm tree, two squares, palm tree, and everything was lining up really well. But as I'm working on this deck, we're gonna see that I'm gonna start testing what kind of tables I want. And then uh, I had like either the rotten, and then I had the dark wood. The dark wood, because I wanted to keep matching the theme of the restaurant and that one had a red cloth for the table and I really love that but I wanted to see if maybe the rattan look better or if the dark wood will look better so that's the and sometimes we have to test that so I had to get the furniture do the testing but then I noticed that I'm like wait a minute I'm not gonna have enough room in all four sides to push chair or a walkway down the middle if I put it too close so I had to start thinking okay so I got that designed out on the other side and I got, I'm almost close to the edge of the water. So how do I want to do this? How do I want to expand this? So I had to think about it. Here I am thinking, and I, I was thinking for a long time and this is already sped up right over here, but I'm thinking, and then I make the decision, you know what? I'm going to cut it through here. I'm going to expand it right here. We're going to make the, uh, a little more rope. That gives us, that's going to give us another square. That means that I can put a share right over there. And then at the same time, we're gonna do it again on the other side, we're gonna expand. And then it actually created the deck and the area feel really good. You know, it, it looks good, it feels good. It's just, it's gonna work out very well. And and that make the, the build even better. You know, it, it gave us more space to, to work with, to decorate with. I'm gonna be able to put the chairs that I want, the extension that I want. And then now, so I had, since I had to kind of expand the deck, we're gonna have to take all the palm trees that we just planted, picked up all the fence, and then expand it on this side. And then everything worked out great. And then I noticed that I wanted to align some of the palm trees with the palm trees that we have on the other side. So everything always works out for the best. I think this is always good. It also helped me to expand the back of the building and to make that fridge looking uh, area, like it, this back of the building is where they keep things uh, that are supposed to be really cold. So I think that also helped and the building came out better, the area feels better and everything worked out great. And then the, the stairs hitting to the ocean right there, I think that was excellent. It just worked out even better than I wanted and I got two stairs away. Cause I think eventually uh, I'm gonna come back here and we may build a small dock, kind of like a small dock parking lot for the restaurant. So I think that's gonna be kind of neat, kind of cool, just very simple. Uh, we're gonna put some jet skis, some rowboats and it's just like people come in, they're having a great time, they can park right here, get some food, eat some food, enjoy the tables, all that great stuff, and then they get back on the jet skis and they can drive away. So that's kind of the vision, that's kind of the plan, but that will be for another video, making that little uh, jet ski parking lot for boats and all that. I think that's gonna be fun. I think it's gonna bring something extra, again, to the island, to the bill, 
to this area that's gonna make that this gonna feel very very cool but okay so now uh, once I decided that I was gonna go with the dark wood because I, I like the dark wood I think it looked really great and the red cloth table it was perfect because it just goes with the building and goes with the stalls I, I just think it was for me for me it's very uh, visual and I love it and I think it just feels just right so now that I have the space in the back over here I was like now I can expand this building and I think I can make now something even better I think the building slowly is looking better proportional wise it's looking more bigger it feels more building type you know it's like like there, there's a lot going on over here but and then this one since I had this idea of making kind of like a like it looks like a fridge like behind it and, uh, and I at least in my area I seen some uh, restaurants or fast food that have this type of looking back and th and that's where they keep the cold thing so I was like you know what if I make that it has that little visual uh, and, and visual to the building just something extra in that separates the building but it looks cool at the same time but there was something off there was something off in the back that I still was not liking so we're gonna see that in, and we're gonna keep tweaking this but I still as you can see the front is still too long the front of the building is still too long I still left it alone I, it's still over there I just every time I look at it every time I was thinking about it I just could feel it because it's numb it's making the bill feel odd or off by just by a little bit it just it's, it's not feeling right to me so and, and that's why we're gonna work on it so the next thing that I wanted to know is it's like okay if I want to add a little bit greenery here let add something over here I don't want to overdo it I don't want to just put so many things because this is you know it's a it's kind of like a little restaurant it's outdoor I need people to be able to walk around and do what they need to do so I know eventually we're gonna bring some uh, trash cans we're gonna put now the silverware that we're doing we're gonna add a little uh, little lanterns and stuff like that just to give it a little more life into the building into the area so the next thing that I was trying to figure out is because the front looks longer right then do I need to make the back look longer and that was my struggle my, my struggle with this build a lot it was how can I make the back look good because the front I like the way the front's looking but it's long but the back look kind of off it, look, it just doesn't look good from the side and I was really struggling with that and and I was trying to figure out so I was like okay what, what if I put a, a stall does it look better with a stall but there was still something up and that's why at the end at the end the, the best choice was to redo the front to push everything back once again to make everything work because the more I looked at what I did on the sides and with the signs it was looking really good it was matching it, it looked good it, it just it, it made the proportions feel great and that's when I, I decide that I, you know what we're gonna fix the, the front and we're gonna just adjust it but I still not in that point yet because I'm still trying to figure it out so the next thing is the lighting I wanted to do a different type of lighting because this is you know outdoor restaurant we're close to the beach so I was thinking you know we can do some tiki torches to illuminate this area give it a whole different vibe give it a whole different feeling but and then it's like do I put to do I put a lot what kind of mood do I want where do I place them you know and if I place them right next to the chair it's like whoa in a way that could be dangerous and maybe I just want a little more spacing so then the other thing is I like okay so we're outdoor restaurant a lot of them do have kind of like umbrellas you know in one particular section so people can kind of sit under the shade I mean right here we're in the beach so this is hot you know this is we're in summer and it's, it's hot you know people need to have a little shade so people love the Sun and they love that heat other people need a little bit of shade I'm one of those so so adding the umbrella I think it, it gives that also that look and feel for the outdoor vibe of restaurant patio and I and also it matches so well because the umbrella has red and white so it goes with the whole thing that we have over here especially on this restaurant it's that red and white with the stall with the cloth with the umbrella it's just everything is matching very well so okay so the next thing is uh, I was trying to decide if I wanted to go with a flower arrangement or if I wanted to do something in here special but you know what I went very simple and, and this one I didn't even hide the, the boxes I didn't because it's more like a little fountain that's just in front of the 
restaurant. And I think keeping that simplicity and then just work on the side. You know, we're gonna work on all that side right there because it looks with all the new flowers, all the new hibiscus, it just, I, I want this area to look really nice, right, in the front. But I think that water, just the water looks really nice. So now, the next idea that I wanted to do here, um, I, I was thinking the whole time what to name this building, what to name this, this place, this restaurant. You know what? And I've been so inspired by AJ's, by the buildings, by the design, by just looking at all those pictures to be able to create this corner of my close to town. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna name it AJ's Place. And I, I just fell in love with that idea. It's a way that I can give uh, homage and credit to AJ for all the inspiration, for everything that, that she has done, especially for me, because once I found those pictures, once I found those video, once I saw her in the live stream, I was really motivated uh, just to be more creative, to keep pushing my designs in Dincom to the next level, you know? And for me, this is it's just a reminder that as a community, we all need to just keep watching so many creators, so many other people, because there are so many ideas that I have not thought about, but all the people have. All the creation that I have not been able to build just yet, but all the people have. And I think for me, it's so important. And that's why, as I was trying to figure out a name for a restaurant, a name for a place, you know, AJ's place. I just think it works. It's great. It suits perfect because all this corner, this back section corner of the coastal town, is an inspiration that came from her builds, from her videos, and yeah. So this is why I chose AJ's place, and I think it just works perfectly and it fits great. So then now the next thing that I did was working on the back, just working on the back section. I started working a little more on that shape of the freezer, right? Just tweaking a little more so everything feels a little bit better on the back. I put some more brick on the very top because I forgot that I left it unfinished. So, and that matches more of the of the chimney that is all brick. So now is slowly, slowly, I think I'm getting to that point that I need to start making decisions. And I was trying to figure out what, if I if I raise the signs, do it, do, will they look better? But, and then I can hide a little bit of, of other stuff in the back because there was a gap. So I'm trying to figure things out but I don't like the way it was too high, it's too close to the rooftop. I could, if I raise the top of the roof, right? The problem was that then it's gonna hide the chimney and I don't wanna hide the chimney. I want the chimney to stick out. So I went ahead, lower back down the, the sign. And, and then this, this is the point that I know the sign is in the right place, in the right height. I don't have to tweak it, I don't have to change it, I don't have to just keep messing with it. So now I'm just keep thinking, okay, how can I keep making this building look good? So I keep trying to mess with new ideas, new designs um, right here now we, because the back is still not working the way I wanted it to work. So I, I'm still tweaking at it. I'm still trying to figure it out. So now I'm trying to match what I did kind of in the front, trying to match it on the back. So instead of the roof going one way, now I'm making the roof go the other way. It cut it into the fridge, but it still looks good. The fridge is kind of now looks more like a big AC air duct, but from the back, it looks really good, but it still gives you that shape. So slowly I'm getting more happy, right? And that's something that I want you guys to see and to start, put it in your mind. Uh, when you're making a building, just don't give up right away. Keep tweaking it to the point that for you, I always remember for you that you're happy with the building, that you're happy the way the building is looking because it's, it's what's gonna, it's your island. It's, it's, you're gonna see that building every time you log into the island, you know? So don't don't just give up, keep tweaking at it, keep hitting it just like it's happening to me. So now I came to the, the point, I was like, you know what? Here it is. I need to make the front the same size as the one on the back, on, on, on the back on the ones on the side, you know, that the, the same dimension, the same size. And once I did that, it truly made the building now work for me. Uh, I, I really wanted the front to, I, I like the idea of the front, you know, the way, how long it was, and uh, the way it was hiding the dirt. And maybe everything would have worked if I had more space. If this area was bigger and I could have done it in all three sides and then hide the dirt and everything was equal, and then it would have been like more of a bigger restaurant. That is not a bad idea because the island is big. I know I'm gonna make more buildings. We're gonna make more restaurants. We're gonna make all the type of building for all the type of purposes. So that's another design, another building that we're gonna be able to build in the future. And that part, and that part of building and decorating is what 
it gets me really pumped, really excited by the game, by Dinkum, because we are gonna be able to do even more stuff, you know? And the other benefit of moving everything forward is now the front of the restaurant, the front of the walkway. Now everything is good. See, now, now I have a full walkway leading to the stairs. Now it's it just, everything now felt better. The whole walkway, the whole front, all the spacing, everything is now is just working together, looks really good, and it just, it's work, you know? It's, it, and that's one of those things that sometimes you have to keep tweaking, you have to keep working at it until you feel it, until you have it right, and it's, until you don't try it, you never know what, how everything's gonna look, you know? It's, it's so important to give it a try. You know, I know it takes time, I know it's, it's, it's time that you had to spend and then to take it all down and I know that could be a struggle and I know sometimes that's not motivating motivated but doing it doing the work trying your ideas out at the end you're gonna have a better result because you either like what you did or you're gonna go back and then sure that you what you had before was the best thing and then by you redoing it then you feel that peace that peace that you have okay so now it's AJ's place. So you know what that means? We're gonna wear our treehouse shirt representing AJ once again. And then I was trying to think, how, what what did I wanted to do here? I did I wanted to add all the shirts? Did I, wh how I wanted, I wanted to incorporate the shirt somewhere in AJ's place so it looks kinda cool. But at the same time, I felt like, well, this might be too much because this is also uh, supposed to be a restaurant. So I'm gonna keep tweaking. We're gonna keep working at it. I had like different ideas. Uh, to what to bring maybe put I, I didn't want to bring the fruit uh, crate boxes or anything like that because we got that in the market So this is a restaurant. So we're gonna keep thinking so I was thinking, you know, if, if I put like the animal uh, Heads maybe it give a vibe of like we sell chicken we sell meat or something like that But at the same time it wasn't feeling just right. So we're gonna keep tweaking it and then I thought about uh, being able to put maybe fish like maybe here this the, instead of being uh like a restaurant that do chicken or anything like that, it's a fish, you know? And so we're gonna put the fish in there. So I put two of them that we get to see. It kind of hides a little bit more of the wall, right? It gives you a little something. At night, it looks really good. And then this is a, a, a fish place. You know, you come here and you can order fish and chips. It's something that we're gonna put in the menu and it just works out really great. And I, I thought the whole combination of everything is working out. I'm very happy the way just everything is turning out. Is hiding a little bit of the of the dirt in the background by having uh, this uh, fish aquariums in here also it gives a little more visual it looks like glass so it the, for me it worked and I was very happy with it so and then we, we planted more coconuts and then we planted more on the side so in the front it's gonna grow so we're gonna have a little more of those corners in those little dirt corners of the building and now it's all about the final detail like always and those final details are usually very important, right? It's, it's, it's what's making the bill feel more alive. It's gonna make it feel like it's complete. And that's when you're gonna be doing even more trial and error. We're gonna testing, okay, does this lamp look good? Does this ticket torch look good? This couch, this chair, do we, should I put more, more plates over here? Should I change this uh, arrangement? Should I put more flowers here or bushes? And that's when it comes to final details. And final details are important, you know? So take as much time as you need. Don't ever feel rushed, you know? I, th I think the most important about building, you know? And I, and I hear a lot of people trying to do builds that are quick, you know? Trying to do them quick. It's just, don't worry about how quick you do it. Don't worry about how, like, man, it's taking me so long and I wanna keep moving on. Take your time, truly, 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 truly. Take your time, enjoy your journey. Try not to get frustrated. You get frustrated, take a break, take a breather, come back to it, play something else, do something else in your island, and then come back to it and keep working at it. So I had this idea to place in the balloons, kind of like grand opening, but the, the only problem was that the balloons, as I was sleeping and going to the next day, you will see the string, but the balloons, the actual balloons, you could not see them anymore. It's just, they're there, they're still there, but you could not see it. So. What was happening is that I had to kind of just forget about it, you know, just li leave it alone and just pick it back up because I don't, I just didn't want just the string just to be floating there. So, so yeah, so I went ahead and see, you, you can see the strings, but the actual balloon, they're no longer there. 
and I know I seen some people actually putting balloons on the ground and they stay so I don't know if it's something in my game maybe the height it was so high that it just kind of the game can register I don't know what was happening but so I could not do the the balloon thing that I wanted only you could only see on that day after that I tried a couple more times in different days it was still doing the same thing as soon as I slept you could see the string but no longer the balloon so you know what so I was like you know what no big deal we're gonna take that up we're gonna clean that up and just continue with the uh, just the final details so so some of the final details that you're seeing is adding some of the new stuff that we got during the spring all day of course the lilies the lily seeds the small and the big one man those those bushes are just so elegant you know but I want to be more strategic with them I don't want to just always use them so here I'm gonna leave a lot of stuff of the original I'm gonna leave a lot of the bushes it's just making some of those corners in this bill look a little more elegant just to bring a little high variation a different type of texture but not overdoing it so I'm keeping a lot of what's originally I'm just adding a little bit extra just adding those little high biscuits just a little red with the yellow I think it looks really good now in the pool area you know at first I had the banana the banana trees because I wanted something different and it still felt tropical but you know those lilies uh, the, the big ones I think it will look really good here because this you know the pool is a little elegant so and the bananas are a little more like you know for a farm or something like that or just kind of more if you wanted to see it in the wild so since this was a community pool I decided to take those off and change that so it's just one of those minor tweaks just to make the bills look even more elegant more more together more cohesive to me that's always gonna be important just to make things a little more cohesive so then uh, I, of course coastal town it's all tropical grass so I know I know guys you guys don't like it there's a lot of people and you know it's it, grass the biggest debate in the income you know is there's only one grass that we should use or but I like using all all the grass I like the yellow like I said I like the tropical and I like the fern it's just I like all the grasses just I can make areas feel different you know if I want an area to feel more dry if I want to have contrast with that oh this this place can afford water so that grass, that's why that grass looks greener and this one's a little more dry. You know, kind of like in real life. When you go real life, no, everything is super green. So that's my take on it. So in the coastal town, I, I, I definitely want the tropical grass. I just it, I just want that feel. So that's that's why I'm using that here. But, but guys, everything is getting closer. Look at this, look at this front. You know, if, if you're in the community pool and you're swimming and now you're hungry, you can just walk right over there, order some chip and ch uh, fish and chips, sit on the table and eat and then go back and swim in you got the ocean like look at look at how pretty this looks you know this build it was it, it was rough like, I, and i will say i was you know just i just had to keep tweaking it just keep working at it just keep adding everything that it needed to be added everything that needed to be worked just so we can make it work but the end result is always worth it and, I, and I, that's always something so important when it comes to building is is the struggles are real the way we have to sometimes build the, the the way we have to keep tweaking the bills rearranging the bills just so we can get to this point the point that you feel like wow I can't believe I created this I can believe the way everything worked out it was it was a journey but I enjoyed it the end result that's the satisfaction that's your reward to get to this point so you can take pictures so you can post it online so you can share it with your friend share it on the discord let other people see let other people get just motivated let people get inspiration from everything that you do so other people can be inspired so then we can all those people and myself we can keep improving our island because your inspiration that I'm getting from you the, the, the things that you're getting from me it's just it's all a combination right you're helping me I'm helping you and it's all coming together but you know this area it, it truly came out again you know I, I had a vision I wanted to make it work I originally wanted the talker box over here I could not make that work I was gonna have to do a lot more but creating buildings it's been one of the best thing that the community has come up in the income I just now the possibility again we can build so many things the possibilities are endless now we can showcase more stuff more of everything you know uh, we can create more houses like people actually live in in the town and it just we're gonna be able to expand our town expand our creativity in this area and then testing out look, look how all this looks 
Now I'm in an old, an old section of the, of the town and I've spent the camera and I can see the building, I can see the, the marketplace and look at a night. It's just so beautiful. You know, those ticket torches was the best choice. It just feels like it belongs there. It just, it gives that vibe that I want, like an outdoor restaurant right in the coastal. Just, there's the ocean, there's the open sky, you know, and you imagine when, when we come back in a year and it's just now there's fireworks, you know, it's, we're, we're celebrating and we can come over here, sit down, open sky, there's the ocean and you can see the fireworks. Ooh, I can't wait to come back over here and test that out because I feel like that is just gonna work out so good, you know, and, and look at this view. Look, we have a shark. It just, whoever comes over here to dine is gonna have an experience. It's, it's just gonna be great, you know, and, and I'm so grateful, so grateful that now this corner of the coastal town is finally completed. We got to this point, you know, that now we can move on to another section of the coastal town and closer and closer, the coastal town is being finished. So guys, you made it to the end of the video. So thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to hit a like, subscribe if you wanna see more videos and we'll see you next time. All right guys, see you later. Bye.